Hi YouTube viewers. This is Howard Moore from Pucky Wits. From today we're gonna start training of ESA part 66 modules. You can like, comment and share and also subscribe my channel to learn more about ESA part 66 training modules and this is the video series of module 1 mathematics which is the simple and easiest module in ESA part 66 training to pass this module you need to score 75% or above and this module consists of 32 MCQ questions for B2 and B1. And you need to solve these MCQs without using calculator because you are not allowed to use the calculator in part 66 exam either B1 or B2. So let's start. To start the training of module 1 mathematics, you need to learn basic mathematical operations which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about simplest addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In my next video, I'm gonna tell you how to multiply, divide, add or subtract decimal numbers without using calculator. So let's start. So in addition, you need to bring two or more numbers together to make a new total. For example, you add one with another number one and the new total is two. So now this is the basic addition which you should know before but from my next video I'll tell you how to add decimal numbers <coughs> without using calculator okay so in subtraction what you're gonna do you're gonna take one number away from another for example there are two numbers 4 and 2 and when you need to subtract this number the result is 2 and now in multiplication you just need to learn multiplication table <coughs> which is so simple I'll, I'll gonna tell you multiplication tell you about multiplication table in my next video because you need to multiply the numbers without using calculator okay so now in division what you're gonna do you're gonna split it into equal parts and for example 4 divided by 2 is equals to 2 now you also need to divide decimal numbers in part 66 module M1 so I will also make video lecture on how to divide decimal numbers without using calculator. Okay. <clears throat> now from today's lecture, it's your turn to solve the following. Okay, you should have solved the following equations. So, if you have any queries, any questions, you can feel free to ask me in comment box. I will surely reply to each and every comment. 
and you can also like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to learn more about part 66 b1 and b2 thanks for watching